What's up everybody, Beast HD here and you are very welcome to Xbox 720 versus PS4 Real Mart Roundup. So if I sound a bit shit at the moment, it's actually because I'm sick. So if you could bear with me on that front, then that would be great. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to talk a little bit about what we should be expecting from the next generation consoles, the Xbox 720 and the PS4. So a bit of a fun fact before we get into the nitty gritties is that the Xbox is codenamed Durango at Microsoft. And internally at Sony, the PS4 is named Orbis. So that was a little bit of a cool fact that I found while researching this. Um, so we will start with rumoured release dates. PS4's rumoured release date is December of 2013, so December of this year. Whereas for the Xbox, there's actually no definite release or definite rumoured release date yet. But it should be around the Christmas period, so October to December this year. Um, so unless there's any major difficulties in development, then we will be seeing both these consoles hitting our shelves um, the later part of this year. Uh, we will probably get definite release dates at E3, which is a huge gaming expo that goes on in June. So unless Xbox or uh, Sony release uh, their release dates before then, then we'll have to wait till June to know exactly when these are going to be coming out. So I'll go into the specs a little bit, and I know most of us have a limited computer spec knowledge, so I'm not going to go into too great detail on this, but I will have links in the description uh, to where I got all my information, and if any of you are computer wizards, then you can have a look for yourself, because uh, all these sites go into much more detail than I'm going to go into, because I know most people won't really understand what I'm talking about if I say everything the site has to say. So yeah, you can check them out for yourself and read all about it. So both are going to have custom built 8 core AMD processors and both will have integrated CPUs and GPUs. So they're basically going to be, the processors in both these consoles are going to be exactly like an Intel processor you will find in your computer. This is going to make both consoles extremely fast and integrated CPUs and GPUs are actually cheaper to make. So hopefully this will have a little bit of an impact on the price that we are going to have to end up paying for these consoles. Hopefully it will lower a little bit. So the graphic side of things, the PS4 has 18 Radeon GCN units, whereas the Xbox will have just 12. And now this is just a rumor, but on paper, it seems that the PS4 may outgun the Xbox in the graphics front. Uh, but the Xbox will have more RAM, making it faster than the PS4. So we're just going to have to wait until they come out to see uh, which is going to be better, basically. Um, aside from the processor and the graphics, there's actually very little difference between these two consoles. They are both going to have cloud-based storage, so basically, like you can get in your computer, you'll be able to store things online, uh, using online facilities. Uh, the PS4 will, once again, have built-in Blu-ray, like the PS3 did, and it's actually rumoured that Microsoft's Xbox 720 will also have Blu-ray. However, as Blu-ray is a Sony-owned technology, this means that for every Xbox 720 Microsoft make, they're actually going to have to pay Sony. So this might affect the final price of the Xbox. Uh, we're just going to have to wait and see what happens. So Sony have paid around $380 million to acquire a game streaming service known as G Gaikai. Um, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but if you want to Google it, it's G-A-I-K-A-I. Um... So this is rumoured to be all because of the PS4 and basically what this means is game streaming is now going to be available. Um, this is going to make the secondhand gaming industry basically, it's basically going to destroy the secondhand gaming industry. So shops such as GameStop or Game that get all their business from selling used games, uh, they're all basically fucked. <laughs> so lots of jobs are going to be lost there but I don't work there so I should be all good. Um, they're gonna, uh, what's, there's gonna be no more used games, basically. Games will have activation codes, and once activated, they are basically useless. You won't be able to activate them on any other console. So once you buy a game, you put it into your console, and use the activation key on that game, then the game will no longer work on any other console. Uh, they are both gonna have built-in Wi-Fi, um, and this is good because you're basically going to have to be connected to the internet to do everything on the new uh, or on the next gen consoles uh, because all your things will be stored online, game streaming will be there. So, yeah, you're going to, well, you obviously have Wi Fi if you're watching this. <laughs> so, yeah, both will have built in Wi Fi, which is good. No longer have to buy that stupid 
uh, add-on thing for the Xbox. And one more thing is that 2013 is meant to be the release of a new ultra high definition smart TV. So this leads to the conclusion that both consoles may contain ultra high definition graphics. And this would kind of make sense because if there's a new TV coming out that has ultra high definition graphics or ultra high definition I mean. And the consoles don't have ultra high definition this means that we're going to have to wait until the next generation consoles after the next generation consoles so basically the consoles that come out after the xbox 720 uh, to be able to avail of ultra high definition graphics so it could be so this leads everyone to believe that there will be ultra high definition graphic capabilities on the next gen consoles which is good so basically that is just a roundup of all the rumors and all the specs that have come to light uh, like I said, there'll be links in the description to where I got all my information so you can check it out. And I'm recording this commentary on the 11th of February 2013. And all the information I've gotten is from sites that have uploaded it basically today. So it is literally the like newest information out there. So if you liked and it kind of informs you a little bit more about next generation consoles, then please leave it a like, uh, share it around, let other people kind of get informed as to what to expect. And uh, please, if you want to see more about the Xbox 720 uh, or a PS4 as it comes out, then subscribe to my channel as I will be updating regularly. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope it informed you and all that good stuff. So, yeah, see you.